Do you want to obliterate everything? I sure do. Let's play Obliterate Everything 2, developed by a Velociraptor in a top hat and cane. Which is the best thing I may have ever seen. Obliterate Everything 2! New game! Start here! Okay. Loading! Tutorial! This, everything's so futuristic with this font. You're on the blue team. Obliterate all of their factions and dominate the sector of space. Defense ships. Energy! Okay. Look to build ships. Yeah, let's skip that. Okay. Those are bad guys. Let's build some... Those are defense. Those are ships. Let's build some... Interceptors! And some... Fighters. And some bombers. Oh, so this is like automatic and like... Oh, no. Just right Put that generator... No? <laughs> that was easy. So it's like... Okay, I get what we're doing here. It's like an RTS, but your units automatically attack. I can certainly appreciate that. One of my least favorite parts of RTS games is clicking your unit and going, go over here and reduce the fog of war. Like, yes, sir! Moving, sir! Okay, sir! Idle, sir! Moving, sir! They just. The game is just. Oh, God, what? No, hey! What? Bad! Just making freaking comments, jackass! Stop that. Alright. Now that I have the means to kill people. But yeah, I really don't... It's not where I meant to click. I just can't stand the... Clicking around and making everybody walk by clicks, and then they have the repetitive voice thing. You know, they have like, two comments they say when they're walking around. And they say those comments every freaking time, and you just want to die horribly. But yeah. Pro tip to anyone planning a game, um, if you're going to do voice stuff, a couple of really simple tricks can make your game way less monotonous. Number one is to not make them say something every time they perform an action, especially if it's like a common action. Just have them say it once every like random interval. Um, one thing that was cool about how um, Final Fantasy X did that is they would all have their pithy remark they say the first time they use a new skill or something and then they either say it very very rarely after that or they just never say it again um, you can have them say it more than once just not all the damn time and another thing is to have them have alternate you know voice clips and you just spread those out between you know, voice clip one, voice clip two, and like a fair amount of nothing. And then it's just a lot less annoying for everyone involved. We have unlocked the destroyer. Okay, how do I equip? Oh, big ships. Barricade. Premium. I assume I have to pay for this. Do I? Oh. I get it. I will buy that then. Can I upgrade anything? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, you can see what reward you get. That's cool. Double blaster. Light carrier. I want the double blaster. medium ships. I want to meet... No! No! Hey! 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 Calm down. Okay. I will make bombers. And anti-fighter missiles. I'm just going to make a bunch of basic fighters because I don't really know what's good in this. Oh, 
I like this so far. I sort of like that it's honestly fairly mindless. Like, it's... Um... I don't know, it's just the sort of thing you could play to just relax and, you know... Play it at a fairly calm pace. I'm sure it gets more intense later on, but... I'm enjoying the slow pace for now. Are those my double blasters? Oh, the destroyer is not a moving thing. It's like a weapon splat. Oh. It spawns... Oh, you manually spawn the big stuff, I guess? Is that how this works? You sure do. Wow, that does not have much health for how long it took to spawn. Are you spawning stuff? More destroyers! Oh, destroyers cost money. Or er, energy. Oh, I didn't buy it another generator or reactor. I guess I should have. Oh, wait. The game was over. I wasn't watching the map. Double blaster, what is that? Oh, it's just a turret. Figured it was a turret, actually. Gunship. I'm hoping that's a light craft, because that's what I've been spamming mostly. There's a little variety to the maps. Um, um, hey, I was thinking. I was thinking. You gotta let me think. It's the law. Just spam them with fighters, I guess. Spam the shit out of them. It's been working so far. I sort of like it when you can focus more on the building your base than you focus on dragging your slow-moving units manually over the entire field. Or at least if you're gonna have to manually drag people around, um, some of those games, what, what was it? Oh man, I'm trying to think of the name. Um, it was this RTS where you could pilot one of your ship things, basically. And so you would be able to lead the assault and stuff and go around and do stuff. And it made it a lot more pleasant. I want to say Battlezone 2 or something, but I'd have to Google to confirm it's the right freaking thing. But can't do that right now. I guess I should make it closer to here. Do each dis does each destroyer cost 300 or just the first one? Is the blue bar my health or is that the time to build the ship? That is the time to build the ship. Okay, destroyer spam then. That was not an ideal place for that. I hope you like destroyers. Huh. Can I not build past a certain point or something? Yeah, you're pretty dead, guys. Bye bye. So let's say blow up their base, are they just screwed? Not sure what my base does aside from make that BB noise. Gunship! Alright. Yep. Attack medium ship. Let's use that instead of the interceptor, because I don't. I don't know. Light cannon. Light carrier. I want to know what this carrier is about. Like personnel carrier or what? Oh crap, I'm in the middle. That's not good. That's not good at all. Guns everywhere. Oh, I don't have enough monies. Oh, they cost 200, not 300. Still a substantial amount for a spawning ship. Oh god. Guns. 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 Lots of interceptors now. Hmm. 
No! Okay, that 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 didn't go so well. <laughs> we surrender by just exploding ourselves. Can I build while paused? I can, that is nice. Interceptors. Interceptors. All kinds of interceptors. A couple of generators. Let's see how that goes. You're building the ships, right? Yeah. This is mean, just putting me in the middle like this. Okay, I'm just gonna sit, and that should be enough defense for now. And I'll just wait till I can buy a bigger reactor, I guess. Actually. Does this block my fire? No, it does not. That's good. Oh, I killed the yellow guys! Oh, these guys are way closer than I realized. Just build some destroyers for their ass. Come on, I'm not patient. Okay, so the anti-fighter things can shoot missiles at buildings too. So they're not 100% specialized. Oh, and these can break. So the purple bar is the health. Hope you enjoy watching as I figure out what the hell I'm doing in this game. Should have bought more reactors. I have no idea how much energy they build. I seem to be gaining more energy quickly, though. Or energy more quickly, rather. And we win. GG, next map. Light carrier, I want to see what that is. Small fighter bait. Oh, cool! I gotta use that. I like this game. The progression is very nice. It lets you... I like when games unlock stuff like in a way like this, because it serves two purposes. It lets you... Actually, it's part of the solves that there. Um, well, hang on. Serves lots of purposes. Um, first, it lets you get used to your the weapon, like all of the features in the game. So it serves almost like a tutorial. Um, and it also lets you dole out content slowly, which is good for. Um, it also extends the life of the game a bit. And so it just helps the player and the game by not overwhelming the player and at the same time extending content without, you know, repetitive stuff. Because, I mean, if you dump... I'm dead. Okay, no big ship at the beginning. Or no big reactor. Pause. See, uh, it... It lets the game progress nicely without throwing a whole bunch of stuff at you at the beginning, which also lets you avoid a stupid slow tutorial. These interceptors seem to work pretty well for defense. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna get four generators. No idea if that is a good thing to have, but it, it feels like it should. Yeah, that number's definitely going up faster. Wonder if there's like an ideal number of these to have or some crap. I usually end up with a system for that, like in Plants vs. Zombies, I always have two columns of uh, sunflowers. Just seems to work the best. that way you're almost constantly clicking to pick up sunflowers and uh, or pick up sun. Oh. That was easy. This 
game's definitely all about the uh, early game setup. Well, I'm gonna see what this mining beam's about, then I'll probably quit. Hang on. I'm gonna risk it. I will probably regret it. Yeah, I like all these parts you can use and shit. Oh, and random question. Oh, I don't like that when you pause it. Oh, I guess it toggles. Yeah, I'd prefer if it changed to a play button once it was paused. Um, random question. If I play Epic Battle Fantasy 4, would people want to watch all of that? I mean, it will be a long game, but I was like, I'm going to play the whole thing anyway, so I was wondering if maybe I should just do it on camera just for the hell of it. But I don't know. I forget how long the the Epic Battle Fantasy 3 was, which would probably be the best way to judge how long the new one will be. Whoa, what is that? Hang on. I like that you can pause and build stuff. So otherwise it's just all about hectic clicking. Which is good for some games, but not so much others. I'm not quite sure how it determines my radius of where I can build stuff. I'm apparently almost at it in one direction. I want to see how these carriers work. How much do you cost? 300, and then an extra 250. I like the mini-map where it shows the combat. My carrier is dropping shit. There's my carrier. You're making fighters. Yes, you are. Cool. Oh, and they shoot too. That's nice. Mining beam. What is mining beam? Explosive shells. Double damage to medium ship. Nice. Ships. I can't word today. Mine nearby asteroids for energy. That's cool. You can have lots of turrets. Oh, can I buy stuff yet? Power efficiency! There are lots of upgrades. Huh, this looks like, looks like a surprisingly deep little game. I definitely recommend it if you like the RTS buildy things kind of game. Avoiding infection. Infestation. Not sure what that's about. That seems like a safe one to start on. One more map. Repair turret, rockets, cruiser, battleship, shield. Eh, I want the battleship. Uh, pause. I like the music too. Very dramatic. And I can mine enemies for energy. That's pretty awesome. Let's make carriers. And some standard fighters. I'm probably way under defended. Which is why I will buy a shit ton of interceptors now. I really like the options that lets you, like, you don't have to focus on one way of defending your ships or anything. Like, you can pick the interceptors or you can pick lots of turrets. I'm gonna die. The solution is clearly more interceptors.
and even more interceptors. Why don't you guys attack each other? I guess you kind of are. But mostly me. Okay, I need more energy. Green's almost dead. I can't build the star dock yet. Come on, kill green. Go carry or go. Does it keep spawning stuff? Or does it just have limited ones? Okay, green is so dead. Okay, we're not in as bad a shape as I had feared. We're gonna do some destroyers. Oh, and I like that the star dock has guns mounted on it too. So that sort of doubles the defense. Battleship. Okay, what's the battleship? Ooh, capital ship! Okay, I will use one capital ship and then I will actually quit. Shield, that does not sound interesting. Oh, well, maybe it is. Whoa! That's gonna cost a lot of money. I guess I want a reactor over here. Uh, how do I want to defend? I want to see how this mining enemies for energy thing works out. I wish you could, like, somehow hold the, like, Crap. You know, remember which item you're building and just continue to click to build more of it. That would be nice. Like, control click or something? I don't think- I don't know if Flash can do that, though. I don't know how well these mining beams are working. But I'm just gonna spam them. Because I like the idea. I will stake my entire space fortune on it. This might not have been a good idea, guys. My space fortune! Well, there goes my space fortune. I blame everyone but me. Use that stupid ship. Let's go back to an easier level. I like there's multiple paths too. Okay, on this one I will go overboard with the stupid mining beams. Because this level will surely be easier. Because it is near where we started. That means it is easy. Oh yeah, they do. Each attack boosts your uh, energy. I need so much energy for that stupid starport. Fortunately, nothing seems to be attacking me for some reason. And on Q... I'm not even going to attack. I'm just going to build... I'm just gonna turtle with these mining beams all over the place until I can buy my freaking starport because I want that cruiser or battleship or whatever the hell I bought. This will happen. Those mine beams are actually pretty cool. Oh wow, those are not very expensive once you've built the starport. Probably takes, yeah, it takes forever to spawn. Oh, I see the purple bar is the health of the ship being generated. I was confused as to why one is a blue gauge counting down and one's a purple gauge counting up. I guess that would be why. Watch my capital ship go. Yes, kill things. 
Wow, it is a beast. Look at that. That is awesome, and it destroys asteroids too. It took out an entire enemy team by its lonesome. What are these things called? Battleships, that's what they're called. Well, I definitely recommend the battleships. Those are kick-ass. Also, these mining things are pretty sweet if you can survive with them. Come on, battleships. Go, my pretties. And they can tank a hell of a hit. It's a shame they're kind of dumb. Am I being frozen? It's like he's being frozen and, like, drifting off into space. He definitely is. Is it like an ice cannon? I have no idea what's causing that. Yeah, it's like shooting little blue lasers at me. Well, you're pretty dead. Bye-bye. Oh, there's one guy flying off the edge of the map. What are you doing out there? If you got like four, five battleships coming after your ass. What is he doing? Well, he's exploding, that's what he's doing. That was Obliterate Everything. This is actually a pretty cool game.